I have in my hand here a USB to uh, DVB T2 uh, tuner. Basically the idea of this product is to use the USB port either on a set-top box or on a PC laptop computer to allow you to add on the terrestrial channels. The fact that it's T2 means that it will for instance support both the Serview channels uh, in Ireland which are using T technology or the T2 technology being used for Freeview uh, in the UK. So let's look at the design of the product. So what we have here is we just basically have a coaxial input here where we'd feed, uh, take a feed with a coaxial connector directly from a uh, UHF aerial. And on the other side, we have the actual USB port. What we do here is we, did, we could insert this directly into the USB port on a PC, but alternatively what we could use, and I'm just going to show this an alternative product here, we have, we'll say, USB extension leads here, and we could use this, we'll say, rather than push it directly in, use a length of cable here, and it just means that the risk of sort of damaging the USB port, uh, which you would obviously have if a cable pushed in directly, is greatly minimized by going for this type of design. So it's really, really, um, um, it's really really cool to use something like this although not uh, strictly speaking essential now what I've done on the PC next to me here is I actually have just a lead coming directly from uh, a PC into this unit and I've installed the player in this case I've installed a VLC player and I went for this simply because it's a good um, free player that's available just go in Google it download it for your version of Windows for instance and put it directly on now the other thing you'd need to do obviously is have the drivers uh, to work with this so that can be just done uh, we can just um, do that and we're actually going to cover that in a separate video just to make it the whole process as easy as painless as possible what I might do here is just give a demonstration of how how effectively this mimics um, a um, uh, an actual uh, set-top box onto a TV so remember that this is just coming from a standard uh, workstation PC and what I have here is I just got the playback I go into program and we can see we're ch after we have a choice of channels we can choose here. So for instance, I can come down and I can choose TG Catter here, and we can flick channels, and we're over to TG Catter, or I can come back up here and just flick back onto uh, RT News at this point, and we just flick it back over. So it's effectively like choosing, except now you're doing it with a mouse. If we come down along here and we go to uh, Tools, we can see there's a program guide section here, and the idea of this is try to give a synopsis here of a particular channel. So it's available in some channels, not in others. We can see the radio channels here, the serial information channels, and then we can just see here the description and the time frame that we're dealing with right now, okay? Um, so we can just close that. What I might actually do, just as an interest here, and just say, to integrate this into the, just say we've come along, we've actually successfully downloaded VLC Media Player. What I would actually do at this point in time is, I would click on it just to open it up as a first time install, and I'll just go over to Media, and I'm going to come down to open capture device. And what we have to say is, where are we going to try to be pulling this in from? So I'm just, in this part of the video, I'm just giving an overview of how we'd set up uh, this play, the, the player to actually uh, work with our picture tuner. And I'm going to go here for simply DVB-T, okay? And I just enter in the frequency of our local transmitter, which I happen to know is uh, 490 and then three zeros more, okay? And what we can do here is we can actually just go and click and play. And what it'll do here is it actually just goes off and it looks for that particular um, uh, frequency and it tunes it in. And now we'll just go back to TG Catter, for instance. We're directly over here. Or what we can do here is we can just come down a little bit further and just go back into the RT news channels again. Okay? So that's basically it. It's an extremely simple process. So it's fantastic to think that you have all that additional um, technology. So if you're in a situation, let's say, where you have a huge F aerial, you have a good signal in your thing, you don't even own a TV, you could plug this directly into a laptop computer. Or envisage a situation, let's say, with, let's say with, uh, you had an Odysseus uh, Optimus um, twin tuner set-top box. You can use this to turn it into a triple tuner, or indeed to turn a triple tuner into uh, a quad tuner. Now, it's interesting that um, We've had a look, we'll say, at maybe the, the Amico boxes and see how well this works. And it will work on it. But the problem is, is that you need to configure your Enigma 2 image file to be able to pick it up. And that can actually prove to be quite tricky. So where it worked very quickly on PCs and on the Edition boxes, trying to get it to work on the Amico or Stav is a lot more tricky. So not that it's impossible, but it's just not a straightforward process. So that's it anyway, an overview of the USB to DVB T2 tuners.